Hey, welcome to Margaret being Margaret. I am pit stopping at um, my sister Karen's church fair, which every single time they have it, it rains. Guess what it's doing? Yeah, it's spin. Take a look. I hope you could hear this song. Good morning. Good morning on this bright sunny day. It feels like any minute it's gonna just open up. Hello. Morning. <sighs> I met Margaret before. Thank you. <laughs> Where Karen is, Margaret will show up. That's how it works. Always has. When I was growing up, Karen was nice enough to include me in everything. So, Cassie, you just started a YouTube channel? I know. What's the name of it? I haven't published it yet, but it's going to be Book Besties Chats. Book Besties Chats. Chats. Me and my book bestie. She's another author. Um, chats with an S or no? Yep. Okay. Yep. When is it launching? Um, we're probably going to launch it at the end of June. We've had a couple videos. We're editing. We're getting ready. Very nice. Cassie is an author. So I can see you. We'll watch it. Thank you. All right. So Cassie is the daughter of a family friend. So this is what you're all going to do now, right? This is our support for the week. Thanks. Crocheted water bottle. I'm filming, is that alright? We will share this stuff. Make everybody I really appreciate These it. These are gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, I do all custom work. So Okay, uh, wait a minute, we gotta get on you. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I do all custom work. Yeah. Usually people will email me a photo and then it takes about five to seven days and then I'll send out the paintings about five very, seven very days nice. Yeah. All right, so look at this folks. Very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna. Do you mind that I'm filming? No. Don't you love the little handmade signs? I love them. <laughs> yeah. Good. Here and I'm taking it off. Well, that was nice. I got to talk to a couple people. And this is um, Dighton, Dighton Community Church. How's that for beautiful? I wish we could go in because it's the old fashioned pews that are like four feet high um, so that they could put the heat box in it. This is from the 1700s. What a beautiful church, huh? And back here, there's um, the big community cemetery where my parents are buried and my brother. And I very rarely go through the cemetery, but I probably will today. Does anybody know what this is? It's got steps going up to it. That's um, to step up to get on the horse or in the, on the wagons. Here it is. The building of this church began in 1770 on the east edge of the great cornfield of the Hokanaka Indians. 
Construction was halted during the American Revolution and the church was used as soldiers farmed and sheephold. Sheepfold? It was completed in 1798. Look at that. The bell was cast at the Revere Foundry in Canton and purchased by Joseph Revere in 1821. The tower was added three years later and the church was modernized in 1861 and restored in 1930. Isn't that amazing? Here's the tower. I, it is a, a, a bloody gorgeous church. This is the cemetery. This end is all from the 1700s. This, this is the cemetery that my father used to mow by hand. So he would have us trimming around every stone. We started on Sunday on this end, went all the way to the other one most of the week, and then started again. We only did that for one summer. I think he did it for $400. You know, it was really bad. Some of these stones were so old that they would sink when you were walking on them. You know, around the graves would sink in. Yeah. Not fun when you're a 12 year old kid. This is also where I learned to drive uh, and taught my kids how to drive and their friends. This is my grandparents and my mother and father. This angel, an uncle from Germany bought, um, and Don, my brother, cemented it in so that nobody could ever take it. And my father was a veteran of World War II. Right here is where my sister Karen's husband is buried. What a beautiful headstone. And then next to this is where I have my two plots and my sister Bernie has some plots too. So if we go here, we'll all be together. Although, you know, I'm leaving my body to Harvard. And um, that means that at the end of 18 months, if they take it, um, they cremate what's remains and then bring it back to you, send it back to the family. So. That's where Michael can put me later on. And right there. And you know, no matter how many times you see it, I don't know about anybody else, but 12 years, it still doesn't feel real. Amazing. Good morning. Welcome back to Margaret being Margaret. Unlock the door. Unlock the door, Margaret. It's Sunday morning. Kind of early still. But look what happened this week. It makes me... Is it awful that I have to look down so I don't kill myself? Can you see? Look. Look. Okay, t I gotta turn you around. It's just too good. Rained overnight. It's still wet. But look, 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 look. I have... A backyard so that I can put a tent if I don't get my house. That's my plan and I'm sticking to it. How much better does that look, huh? And I don't know if you can see, but two trees planted. My son works so hard I can't stand it. And I really mean that. Yeah, Michael works too hard. It's actually um, starting to scare me a little bit. They both look too stressed. But in other news, <laughs> they, um, Nikki drew up the plans that I had done for her, saying that this made a whole lot more sense than what the architect was doing, or wasn't doing. So she is sending those to the architect today and saying, this is what I want. And it's not, it's, it's done, it's done. Um, so hopefully within the next week or so, you know, where did I put my coffee? We will have plans and a contractor because something's gotta give, right? Not really, but it would be nice if it did. Made myself a list of things we need to talk about <laughs> for this week, honest to God. Um, a lot of random stuff, but one of the big deals is the house plans. We should talk about that. And I have to keep looking down because I've got things that I have to look down at. 
and I have to have my tea. First, I got so excited when I came around the corner the other day and saw that the loom had been spread. It's so good. So little things in life, how often do we say it? And talking about little things in life, I love the Facebook page and all the little positive affirmations people put up during the day and the funny ones and the memories, uh, things that we've forgotten, like putting up jacks to play with and pogo sticks. And that made me remember how I used to walk around on stilts all the time. So keep them coming. That that's always fun. That, I mean, that's just fun. Other things this week. I, oh, first of all, I'm exhausted. I did not sleep last night. I actually came out and slept on the couch for an hour or two, but my stomach is killing me for no apparent reason. And I uh, have a headache. Of course. I wonder how the allergies are. Hang on. Allergy triggers are low. No, medium. And the barometer pressure is way up. Okay. So at least I have a reason for my headache. I have to have a reason for my headache. I can't just have a headache to have a headache like normal people would. Uh, shout out for all the people who mentioned putting borax and sugar for ants. I ended up seeing um, a lot of ants in, in my cabinet with my dishes. Really? I mean a lot, three or four at a time. And put the mixture in there. That first day, I saw a lot of ants and it dwindled down to one and spent three or four days, no ants. So I think you gave me the answer. Thank you for that. I still open the cabinet and cringe and then take a dish out and <laughs> do the inspection. Oh. Other things, got a letter from the IRS. Now my CPA has not done my taxes yet. They must have done the extension. It's killing me. I reached out to them again, but I got a letter from the IRS saying that somebody had filed taxes and um, they didn't think it was me. They thought I had been compromised. They're right. So I had to do this 24,000 question thing online. And now my CPA can't do an electronic filing. I sent him an email saying, well, this is nice. So I did check my bank accounts, make sure none of that had been touched, but I have had some kind of identity theft. Thank goodness the house sale was done. <sighs> and that there's not that much they can damage me on, but that's kind of traumatic. I wanted to just mention, I saw a really good movie. I don't know if it was Netflix, because I don't have Netflix, I have a service where I can just find everything. Uh, the movie was The Judge with Robert Downey Jr., which I just think anytime you find something with Robert Downey Jr., you're probably gonna love it. So that was really good. If somebody's looking for something to watch that's not heavy, heavy, but interesting, I thought that was a really interesting movie. I have been sitting on making an appointment with my lawyer to get the irrevocable trust done. I'm really scared about that. And it was funny, when I was at Mike and Debbie's last week, I somehow mentioned that, and Michael just looked at me and went, you don't trust your son? Hmm. And I just, it, it made me pause because I absolutely trust Mike and Nikki, but I also know how these things can go south you know, I never thought I'd be estranged from my older son, Dennis. I never thought I'd be divorced. <laughs> I never thought a lot of things, but I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on that. It's time to get it done. It's very scary. And what I'm trying to think about why it's so scary for me, it's that giving up control. I think when you've, especially our generation where we weren't raised with anything. And now I've worked very, very hard. I've done it all myself, pat myself on the back. And now to give up control is really, really scary. Do I think anything bad is gonna come from it? No. And you know, Mike and I have talked and Nikki and I have talked and not every single penny will go into the irrevocable trust. 
Not that I have a lot, but from the sale of the house and it's tiny bit from the sale of the salon. You know, I have a little nest egg finally. So I'll keep a little of that back and put the rest of it in. But I wonder how you all feel about that, especially those of you who are signing things over and then if something, you know, putting it in trust and then if something happened, you have nothing to fall back on. Because I know that if something did happen and all I had was my social security, my 1300 a month, I wouldn't even be able to rent something, but it's time to get that done. I mean, it's, it's well past time to get that done. So I will call the lawyer this week and I'm saying it out loud. So I force myself to get moving on it. And I'll just have to put on my big girl panties and suck it up, realize that it's the right thing to do. So Michael, you did force me to think about it. House plans. You know that the architect that Mike and Nikki have drives me nuts. I just don't think she's very good. So I had redrawn plans that she did because she left 12 feet of open space in my little house. That's prime real estate for storage. So I redrew and then she did the same thing in Mike and Nikki's kitchen. It was not well laid out and she forgot that they wanted the laundry on the first floor. And then she came in $200,000 over budget. So I have done architectural plans before because I wanted to be an architect. It's a passion of mine. And I have done it and actually had someone build a house that I had planned out. So I gave Nikki, I think I said that, these plans, and she loved them. She actually, she does pen and, you know, pen and paper. Um, she took the existing blueprints, overlaid the new ones, that, and made everything to, you know, up to standard and did a phenomenal job, tweaked mine where she had to and redrew it all and is sending it to the architect and saying, this is what we want. It's all drawn out for you. Please do it professionally and we're done. So I have the final blueprint plans. Now, I don't have the drawn out blueprint plan, blueprint plans, but I have what they're based on and um, they are real. So at this point, when I show you, <laughs> you only have the option of going, oh, that's nice because nothing is changing. We're not changing it again. It's not happening. This is just for reference. This is my house. This is their house. This right here is their kitchen and it's connected to my kitchen. This is their garage. So just so that you see the setup. Entering, you'll enter into the living room, but it's open to the kitchen and you'll see this in a minute. Um, kitchen counters, open for seating. There's a, a, enough area here that I can put a small table or um, a console table probably. Here, there's a huge pantry storage or dish storage or any storage. This is going into their kitchen. This is a big closet storage. I think it's like six by eight. So you've got plenty of storage here and I can do a regular washer and dryer or make them stackable and put a countertop there. When you walk from the living room, there's a bunch of different options here. There's a coat closet to go into the bedroom with a huge closet here, double door closet. I think we can see it there, okay? Come, you can come out and go directly into the bathroom. This is what you and everybody's gonna mention, putting a door to, into the bathroom from the bedroom. I don't need it because this is right there and this gives me um, wall space if I wanna put a bureau, but there's the bathroom. So there's a lot of storage here. Now, let's go to the next one. All right, this is showing you what it looks like walking in. Come on. So this is the real walk-in. Um, plenty of windows walk out here 
for either um, a deck or a concrete pad, depending how far off the ground it is. My cabinet here, like I had in the dining room in the Dighton house with the blue, I think there's another shot of it, bedroom storage, coat closet, linen storage, all the pantry storage, and the big kitchen. All right, just another way of looking at it. Because right, I'm trying hard to make sure you guys see um, when you walk in to lay from the going for, to the front of the property, you can see the eating counter, the kitchen very compact, that wall that I can put something, living room, bedroom, storage, bedroom living room, kitchen, bathroom, and storage. Don't think I'm forgetting anything. So it's 720 square feet, plenty big. You know, I wanted it smaller, but nobody listens to me. <laughs> but very nice. I love the kitchen, love, love, love. Especially looking at it from this angle, because you can see I've got windows there, Minimal upper cabinets are not going to need a lot, and I don't want it to look cluttered. That's going to look so nice and open. I don't think I forget anything, folks. And this is what you'll see. The garage will be here. But this is how you'll see as an entrance to my house. So when you come in, boy, besides getting vertigo, because I can't walk. Okay, that's the living room. Going to the back. This is the two windows there. This is what you'll see with the half counter going into the kitchen. And this is where I'm talking about. I'll be able to put a console table probably. Linen. That's only like a foot deep. All the linens will go there. The door to the bathroom. And right here is the coat closet and the door to my bedroom. And then this is what the kitchen looks like. Sorry about that. So I've got plenty of room for anything for the countertops. I've got plenty of cook room. And if I decided that I didn't want to put my coffee area here, I can always put it here on this wall that I said could be like a console table. Could even be just that little thing with the um, that you put the cubbies in. So I could be pulling out for storage. And then here, in the kitchen, hope you guys aren't getting too crazy here. Um, pantry, the door to storage, and right there goes into their house. And the view from the kitchen. All the rooms are plenty spacious. I think this is like 13 by 15 or 16, maybe even 17. So that's the house plan. And let me see. Everything is four feet or more wide for wheelchair in case I ever need it. Now, somebody had said recently, you know, why are you so fixated on that? I'm not. I don't ever see that as a as a problem in my life, but it's something that my kids uh, feel strongly about. They just want to make sure that they're ready for any eventuality, and uh, that's fine with me. My main thing with the house is I want the storage, and I want the floor-to-ceiling open-door cabinets. I love that in Dighton. It made my life so much easier than having things in cabinets, but... In the upstairs apartment, I had built the, I, you saw them in the plan, the Ikea cabinets that, that are um, horizontal, open bottom to top. I had those for my dishes, uh, my everyday dishes. It was a godsend. So that I really want again. So I'm going to have the best of all worlds for me. <sighs> Sooner or later. But I like the fact that it's more or less ready to go and when it happens it happens in the meantime 
Michael's here again today, um, putting in the new bathroom for them and getting all that going. So, I mean, there's stuff going on, just not on the new build, which it is what it is. You know what I forgot to talk about? When I went to see Debbie and Mike last weekend, Debbie is one of those people who really, it, she's so thoughtful and they gave me a basket and I forgot to take a video of it. The most gorgeous um, rattan basket, first of all. And she had it filled with all sorts of stuff that she knows I like. First of all, a million Kit Kat bars. <sighs> Thank you for my diabetic coma, Debbie. And because she can't buy anything for a house I don't have, she got um, a birdhouse for outside, which Michael is a birding fanatic, so that's already hanging out there. A couple of um, kitchen cloths, cloths, a couple of kitchen cloths with um, a cat motif, a chocolate cake, Cheetos. Can you see the theme here? Most of the stuff, I put in the freezer so I couldn't eat it all. So I already, I've only gone through one bag of Kit Kats, but there's another one in there. And I'm sure I'm missing something else, but all things that she knows have meaning to me. Isn't that awesome? I wish I could pay that much attention so that I knew what to do. Cause I'm constantly going like, what do I do? What would they like? You're a special kind of wonderful Deb. The rest of my day is going to be trying to stay awake. <sighs> I want to get outside and mow the backyard and possibly get the, hit the front once again. The rain has stopped. It's cold. That's fine. I don't mind that. I'll warm up right away. But in the meantime, can you see sweatshirt and sweater this morning? So thank you for joining me today. I haven't said this in a long time, but if you like it, please subscribe and share. And I'd appreciate it. Have a great week. I'll check in if there's anything earth shattering. Hopefully not. Take care. Laugh. Enjoy. I'll see you next week, maybe. I'm done.